none of what you got is as crazy as this thing. <laughs> this comes from Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism. And there's a book in there called the Zohar, which is the most out there mystical book there is. Like it's, it's out there. And they tell you not to study it because it's, it's about ghosts and the afterlife and shit like that. Most of Judaism is honestly just how to live your day to day life. Like how to love your wife. We do respect our wives. You just can't participate, but you got to respect your wife. <laughs> how to love your wife, you know, how to keep kosher, what happens if a goy hams up your soup, you know, all that stuff. And the Zohar is like, why bother? And it drove men insane to study it. Like, so they say you're not supposed to study it until you're 35 and married. But I saw it on a shelf in my yeshiva in Jerusalem. And I was, you know, Jews are inquisitive. We're nosy on two fronts. And I was like, nobody's looking. I'm like, fuck it, I'm cracking it. I opened it up. I thought ghosts were gonna fucking fly out, like, you know? <laughs> Like one of those Harry Potter books. It's just a book. It's just a book. So I read it, and I read one passage before they found me and stopped me. And it was, uh, it was about masturbation. And I got lucky. <laughs> so you know how you're not supposed to masturbate in, like, every religion? There's not one religion. It's like, no, go for it. It feels awesome. Why wouldn't you do it? Of course masturbate. Look how long I made your arm. I could've gone with any design. I, I went from scratch. I went exactly, thumb on top on both hands? Come on. <laughs> no, don't touch it. Every religion is like, don't touch it. So in the Zohar, it says that when you are masturbating, when you do masturbate, what happens is, unbeknownst to you, a demon woman comes into the room. <laughs> yeah, I know. And she rides you. She fucks you. You can't see her or feel her. So calm down, incels. <laughs> and she rides you. And then when you come, it goes into her. She gets pregnant. And then she, yeah, this is all real shit, dude. Uh, well, whatever, I mean, none of this is real shit, but <laughs> it's as real as Adam and Eve. <laughs> and she rides you and she gets pregnant and she goes off to this nether region. Like it's not heaven or hell or earth. It's just like this in-between. It's kind of, kind of like Stranger Things, the upside down. <laughs> and she goes and has her baby. And the next time you masturbate, she comes back and she rides you again. Might be a month later, it's probably like 20 minutes later. <laughs> And every single time you masturbate, the same demon lady rides you. And every single time, she gets pregnant. She might be Latina. <laughs> it's tough to say. They didn't really have that in the Old Testament, but uh, signs point to that's what they were saying. <laughs> and all through your teens, you're just whipping out these demon kids. Just kids, 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 kids. Through your 20s, kids, kids, kids. These demon kids you have. Oh, and it describes the kids. And they are fucked up. <laughs> yeah, not only because they grew up in a single parent household. <laughs> yeah, that can mess with any child. It's worse than that. They're mutants. Describes them. They're half demon, half human. So they're all like deformed. They got like one short leg, one short arm, like 18 eyeballs going on their side. Oh, and they hate you. <laughs> yeah, because I guess somebody told them if you just waited and fucked a regular human, they could have been a regular boy or girl. <laughs> you couldn't wait, could you, degenerate pieces of shit? <laughs> You saw an inside-out sock on the floor, and you're like, I'm gonna make a little demon baby right now. <laughs> yeah, by the way, none of this applies to women. You guys can jill off all you want, scot-free. Yeah, enjoy your first taste of female privilege. <laughs> but for the men, what we're producing is these fucking demon babies going, ah, I hate daddy, ah! <laughs> Somebody was like, what are you talking about, daddy? Like, yeah, I hate daddy, I hate him too, ah! Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> And then two more pop up because you couldn't sleep on a Monday. <laughs> oh, what is this? Daddy did it. Ah, I hate him. Ah. All through your 30s, kids, 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 kids. Your whole life just whipping out these demon babies till you're 90 something years old, you know? And you're like, I think I'll masturbate one more time. I haven't masturbated in 15 years. My Parkinson's will help me with this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get one drop, bleep, one drop, doesn't matter, kid. <laughs> and then you die, everybody dies, right? At some point you die, you wake up, it's the afterlife. And then you're like, is that the afterlife? So I knew it, I knew it was an afterlife, is that heaven? Can I get in? They're like, well, this is what they tell you. They're like, you can come in, but before you do, you have to go meet your kids. <laughs> yeah, they make you meet them, and you'll be like, what kids? They don't have any kids, and they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> You have so many kids. Oh my God. 
<laughs> oh, it's my favorite part of the job. Dude, it says here in college you made 11 per week for four and a half years. <laughs> so, they point you to this house, the demon lady's house. And you go over there and you knock on the door. And the demon lady opens the door and you're like, hello? And she goes, oh, hello, mister. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Ari, you have to meet your kids. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. She opens the door, and there's an army of them. You have no idea how many times you masturbated. It's so many. And they're all just walking around like Walking Dead, you know? They don't say anything. And then one of them finally is like, Daddy? And they all look like, Daddy's here! And they all start coming at you like, Why, Daddy? Why can't I be a real little boy, Daddy? I wanted to live, Daddy! We all wanted to live, Daddy! Yeah, it's a fucking horror movie. <laughs> Very unsettling. Here's the cool part, that is negative. Here's the cool part. You don't have to take care of them. <laughs> yeah, you still got to go to heaven. It just for real ruins the vibe that first week. <laughs> you know? You meet your like loved ones, your grandparents, like, Ari, like, I need a minute, guys. Uh, <laughs> whoa.